CNN chief Jeff Zucker abruptly resigned Wednesday, following the disclosure of a longtime sexual relationship with a top executive at the cable news network. The disclosure, and his exit, followed an inquiry into the scandal that led CNN to fire top anchor Chris Cuomo in December after it was revealed he consulted with his brother, embattled New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, while covering the story. As part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I have worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledged the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today," Zucker wrote in a staff memo. Zucker, 56, a Harvard graduate who became the youngest producer of NBC's Today Show, went on to serve as president and CEO of NBC Universal before becoming president of CNN in 2013. He also oversaw all of Warner Media's sports operations, including Turner Sports and Bleacher Report. He became involved with Alison Golist, executive vice president and chief marketing officer at CNN, who reported to Zucker and served in a similar capacity under him at NBC. He is now divorced from his wife, Karen. Jeff and I have been close friends and professional partners for over 20 years, Golist said in her own statement, asserting their sexual relationship was more recent, but said she planned to remain in her role. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID. I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. I'm incredibly proud of my time at CNN and look forward to continuing the great work we do every day. Zucker stood by Cuomo for months despite revelations the anchor had consulted with his brother over how to respond to a sexual harassment scandal that enveloped the governor. Cuomo was fired late last year, more than three months after Andrew resigned. A series of interim hosts has filled in on the 9 p.m. EST slot formerly occupied by Cuomo Prime Time. Warner Media chief Jason Kilar said he planned to name an interim replacement for Zucker shortly.